Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. You may have been familiar with some people who will show you how they unbox some new device that they bought from the internet and showing you how nice and neatly they're packed so that the uh, so that the device or whatever they brought gets to you safely and you can use it right away. Well, I'm going to show you how a sample, this is a sample that's sent in for a diagnosis uh, to us here at Pace, and I'm going to show you how it was packed and to see uh, if, if it was packed well enough to give a rapid and uh, effective diagnosis and, and give you some tips on how to uh, pack your samples to make sure that they get to the diagnostic lab in the best condition. I have a suspicion that this box may not be packed uh, quite ideally for the diagnostician to make a rapid diagnosis. So let's, let's take a look at what, uh, what you find inside this box. This may be the first unboxing of a disease diagnostic sample online. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go. First thing we noticed that the uh, box had some openings uh, on the bottom here so that the sand uh, can flow out of the box. That's just really um, not a good way to pack anything. They'll, they'll normally get stopped in the shipping process and you'll do a lot of damage to the uh, shipping equipment that people are using throughout the country. So you wanna make sure that they're typed off on all sides so that there is no uh, sand leakage. That also gives us an idea that maybe the sample was not uh, packed perfectly uh, to prevent uh, the sample from uh, shifting around. There's some information for me that came with the sample. That looks good. Maybe some photographs. And you can see the samples are uh, wrapped in uh, paper towels. This is not too bad the way they're wrapped here just in, in the paper towel part. Uh, so it's possible that the tops of the samples are fairly clean. And they are. They're fairly clean. But the, the bottoms of the samples got uh, disturbed quite a bit uh, in the shipping process, but we should be able to get a pretty good uh, identification, even though you can, as you can see, the top of the sample has quite a bit of soil on top of it or sand on top of it. Uh, that can make it uh, more difficult uh, for the samples to be evaluated. But this is not uh, not too bad. Uh, they, there's worse. I'll show you some pictures of some that are worse, but it's uh, it's fairly fairly uh, adequately packed. So here's an example of, uh, of someone who shipped the samples just wrapped in newspaper, but they were not packed tightly into the box, so the samples were loose. They just kind of rolled around in the shipping process and pretty much uh, destroyed the samples. So you can wrap samples in newspaper. It's probably better to put a little bit of tape around them and uh, pack them very tightly into the box. But let me show you uh, even a better way to prepare your samples for shipment and how to pack them. This will be a simple sample of how you can use uh, aluminum foil to help you ship your samples without having problems. Uh, with the roots, but there's one thing that you can do, it's a very simple way to ship, which you can just turn your sample upside down onto the foil and then pack uh, the aluminum, trap the aluminum foil all the way around the bottom of the sample. Uh, just as simple as that. This gives you a pretty good uh, packing system. It has a little bit of air movement, uh, it's not bad, but you can see that the soil is held in quite nicely. So that's a very simple, rapid way to, uh, uh, to pack a sample for shipping, and then you need to pack those into the box uh, very tightly so that there's no movement. Very, another simple way to pack the sample is to just wrap the aluminum foil tightly around the base of the sample and leave some uh, air movement or uh, opening at the top so that the sample uh, uh, has a lot of uh, movement. This also work, will work fine. I don't think you'd find a uh, plant pathologist that would complain about this. Pack it tightly into the box so that it doesn't uh, bounce around. I'll just show you what that looks like. Yeah. Let's just take a lot, look at uh, shipping uh, a sample of packet. We'll pack it using the same box that it came in just with the, uh, the new wrapping uh, materials. But the first thing you want to do is uh, improve the integrity of the box. Sealing off all of the uh, all of the openings so that nothing can leak out of the box. So now we're now the whole bottom of the box is sealed. Let's put our samples in.
pull them tightly across. There's a box. No shifting in the box, no leakage, everything's good. Refer to the links associated with this video for a listing of turf disease diagnostic laboratories and their websites. You can refer to these websites before you ship a sample to make sure that you provide all the information that each one of the diagnostic labs would like you to provide with the samples. We hope you enjoyed this video.